Hello everyone, this is Luna and I, I am back in The Walking Dead for what it should be the season finale ending of The Walking Dead episode 5. <coughs> I think there's one after this, I have DLC, a special episode, 400 days. I might do, I don't know. But without further ado, let's get into this. I'm sorry, I'm a little sick. I apologize in advance. Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marshalls? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town through the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? From the time? Clementine! Yeah, he got bit there, man. Whatever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? Look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Yes, I know it adapts to the choices you make. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. The real time is fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next word very carefully. Please, don't hurt him! Murder? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's a potion of death between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Better not fucking hurt her. I swear. Don't worry now. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. Fear this time. Stop it. You seem okay now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets hit. You're still the smartest fucker at all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Damn. I was kind of hoping they'd dug some secret tunnels or something. This is a I'm 
looks like a Kojak. I want to imagine this being used in a body. Nothing. Hmm. Doors open in two seconds. We're gonna die. Trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's going to be a lot of blood. There's going to be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe the room. The big risk. Yeah. Down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously. Easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. I don't live through this. I need you to know you. Let's see if that fucking help them or not. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. It's the smartest thing you can fucking do. I'll bring up the reader. Well, 
But he had infected the kid off the part that's infecting you. Like a snake bite. I have to go as quiet as possible. See if we can make it to an empty floor. Or even... So what I'm sticking on that. Savannah was empty. Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. There were times out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. That's the I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. We lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you got to let us know. It wasn't my favorite hand anyway. Well, you haven't lost your spirit. Seriously, don't treat me any different. I got one goal, you hear me? Yeah, we do. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. You should have just fucking burned it shut. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. It's an extension ladder. Must have been almost a lot of doctors. the church across the street from the mansion. Weber Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. That's the church across the street from the mansion. Weber Street should be just beyond that. Just need to figure out a way to get there.
What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. I could help. With the Bell Tower on this side of the hospital, and a mansion over there, that might be our way off this route. I can make it to that Bell Tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. Make thousands of them. It'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. It's just for a few minutes. No way. It's higher than this room for starters. Did find something that I could throw or get a ladder or something. I assume. Can I pick up the ladder? Yeah. One hand. Whoa! You need some help with that? I got it. Damn it! Oh shit! The bells. Yeah. Get by us in time. Throw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. But we have to decide who takes a risk like this. It should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Gonna shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. Yep. Wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! If you sell rings of this and there'll be thousands now. Getting out through there. Oh, you're not getting through anywhere. The only thing else I can fucking do is ring the fucking bell. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far.
That's so far. Damn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Save that, motherfucker. The one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit. Gone. Max. The guys? No. It wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking bull ride. When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throat shot. We'll never find them. Fuck them. Cancer, no cancer. Saint Sinner, who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Oh, Mead, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine and then what? We get the fuck out of city. I'm done with city. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, me? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just going to look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourself. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage it with me. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. That wasn't the last boat in America. The idea was sound before, and it's sound now. The mainland is done. We have no idea what else is out there. I don't want to get us all killed on some impossible mission. It'll be better than getting eaten alone. Out there. At least Lee's thinking. You're goddamn right. We get another boat. And not here. Are we all missing the point right now? Clementine is the goal. That's it. Damn right. Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kimmy. Help Krista. Will do. Omi. What is it? Go now! Front hallway! Lee, help! Cut your fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something 
in there. Hurry! Take your goddamn arms off! <laughs> Now what? Everybody, we have to hide and then find a way out. Lee's right. This place is secure. We're patient and then we get comfortable. Fuck! New plan! Get upstairs! Go! chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Nothing. Dixon Kent the third. Industrial... Need? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. Can't we fight our way back through the house? I've got a weapon. What else do we have? Not much. It'd be a goddamn mess going back down there. I'm no good to Clementine dead. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great. And you're warm. I'm okay. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. 
Hayes. Look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Is that conversation in you get something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before we did not show up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Me? I'm not advocating anything here. But how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. <gasps> this wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. I probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. It was. Fucking thing. It happened so fast. Almost hit someone across one. Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just bam! Thing was on me. You never saw it. Someone in the blind spot. So weird. You keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in that brain is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? Well, I'm not wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I've been having. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? Make sure he never takes anybody from the world again. He's got enough of you. And, you know, whatever happens to you, Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time you were at the hospital, I could sense you think you were as good as dead. I was bitten, Mister. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I won't get into the back. Stop it. Do you hear me? Are you sure, man? You didn't see me this way. I'm going to do the protect me. I'm not doing this right now. Krista, listen to me. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. You don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chuffed. So I know Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? 
I still can't believe he went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told me. Took some brass. I don't think I would have. How are you? I'm, uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. I can't trust more than anyone. You're all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. All of us and all families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, he had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. I spent a lot of nights hating these guys' guts. What else do you have to lose? Indeed. Hopefully, Hawkman's arm off saves them. Otherwise, I did it for nothing. And I'm gonna get kind of pissed off with it. This place seems pretty sealed off. Wow. Well, You say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. You did everything you could. No, me. I could have been a better husband, a better father, could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. One shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, are you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. This gotta be our parents. Alright. 
Anything else to find here? Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dr. Penny. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. This room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch Kung Fu movies. Just saying. Might be the way out. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Cat and I laid in that broke down RV. And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie talkie? Yeah, of course I do. Might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful, cross here. I'm betting you one of them dies. Yeah, that's a high fucking drop. You have to do it at that point of view. You fucking joking me. Yeah. Cool. Just up ahead. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Look at shit. You better tell me twice. Just keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. Fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Fast will be good. Keep a fucking eye on her.
There's a fucking toll. Grab onto this! We'll pull you up! She's dead. Shit, they're in there. Fuck! Jump up here, baby. Let's go. Jump. <laughs> Me and my fucking mouth. Get her, Ken! Get all that shit. I'll do something now. Come on, reach. I got you, hon. Save her! Go, go, go! Can you fucking hear me? Get Kenny! You gotta run, man! Go! We'll find a way to get you! Get the fuck off me! We're going in after him! We can't! We have to! Lee! Go! We don't know. He could be down there still. He, he could be on the run. He, he, he could be gone. He could be okay. He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Well, fuck. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? You go to Claire. It's Kate and support too. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. We'd be out on the water. If it's a shitty time, I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Clementine, I know Kenny was your guy. Yeah. When it comes to Clementine. Well... You guys will be great for him. To your sake. We do our best. You know that. What's going on with you? I don't know what you mean. No one can do that. Right? I was in trouble. Sure. Well. At least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. You're welcome too. Let's see what I'm doing so quick. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first. In case anything happens out there. 
Be sure. Yeah. What else do I gotta lose? Yeah, I'm missing an arm or yeah, fit and I'm probably gonna die. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. losing more time on a long shot. Find a boat. We'll meet north of town. A boat? We still have to get out of the city. I'll get Clementine and meet you. What if? Don't what if. I'll meet you. As I said, I have nothing to fucking lose. mess up once I fucking die. That's extreme bullshit.
house and joining rooms. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. What things? This is all I've got. Okay? You travel night. I don't believe it. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking. Who would have it out for you? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, some killer out in the woods, some villain. I'm just that. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance. But I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? Son Adam is here. He took him out hunting, even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. He came back without him. What could he have said? You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. He never found him. I heard her. So bad. Then you took all of our things around us. I could have earned your trust by putting it on our job. Yeah. I'm sorry. Now I'm really got the more she can leave me until she finally took our daughter with us. They didn't get far. I found them. Later, in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night. 
so you can protect a pretty girl with a gun. It was impossible to save them. To save them both. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. It's not the whole story. The whole story? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard of the things you did, the danger she was in, our plan changed. Leave this moment. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. What? Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has to do. Look, I was thinking. You were what? Yeah. Probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Hey, honey, I think this is all gonna work. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to. I wish you wouldn't have had to get this bad. It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing this. I just miss you so much. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh, fuck. Okay. We have to talk, okay? 
Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Hmm. Hey, you saved me. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous, like you said. It's okay. We learn. Which way out? Through there. And his wife's head in there. <sighs> I know this is gonna end me dying. So I'm gonna explore shit before you. Can I cover you up, kid? Yummy! Yep. This sounds like a very mm hmm. I'll, I'll listen. Oh, 
Well, It's sad. I, I think there might be a way out over there. Good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slower. Ah. I'll help you. She's helping me. Shouldn't be one of these endings where I end up fucking getting a mouse from. Isn't it? Get up, Lee! The door is right here! Oh, uh. Oh, come on. <coughs> I can't. You have to! 
I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! Come on. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Cliff. You can use that. Use the bat to shut that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Thank <laughs> you. 
the back. Get the back. Fuck. Uh.
Here is 62 of players removed your arm. He is 65, lost to temper, shiny, you and 80% gave the players kept your weapons. You and 65 of players didn't kill a stranger. You and 61% made sure they didn't do it. You defend his son destroyed George Thor, you fought him when he was in denial, you killed his son Tuko, he didn't have to, he was lost to the herd trying to save Krista. Trim water for duck when he ate, she shot herself on the face with her son's death. You called him racist, you tried to revive him with CPR, Larry died in the meat locker. You backed her up when supplies went missing, you chose to reveal your past to her early, so the RBM was never seen again. You pushed her, him off a bridge to escape the herd, you were separated after you crossed the side. You dropped Ben from the bell tower, you trusted her with your past. You saved her life at the cross of another, she was killed by Lily, you defended her against Lily's accusations. You met her on your worst day thus far. You helped her get into, onto the train. You helped her on it to find a boat and meet you. You built your bite to her. You were with him when you found your brother. He died with Walker's attack with Christ. You helped save his life at the farm. You argued that he was not bitten back in Jamaican. You shot him before he could turn. You let him be your side to solve the mystery. <laughs> That's evidently on it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And for sticking through this with me through all this. I thank you for all that. This is one hell of a game. If I'm able to, I might do this uh, second part of it. I know there's a... There's, uh, second part to this game with one and all that I've seen some of it but yeah I hope you enjoyed this I hope this was a good this is a good game to me Hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video, as always. Bye-bye.